Hey, so basically this is what I look like. See? Alright, anyway, we're gonna do this video. I've been watching a lot of No Kami. I don't even play Dragon Ball Fighters, but he was very entertaining. And he's doing a lot of videos like this. So I wanted to do this one for with Smash. So shout out to No Kami for inspiring me to do this kind of video. But anyway, I wanted to basically tell people why they haven't why top players really don't pick up Lucas, why they don't try to test this character out or anything. And I'ma show y'all like uh, basically I have four reasons why but before we get into that look at your phone okay you see I know you're looking at your phone right even if you're driving stop what you're doing if you're in class stop what you're doing if you're talking to your mom talk to your dad say be quiet I I'm watching psychedelic right now you need to look at your phone slide down you see that thumbs up just just put your finger on the thumbs up button it's not gonna hurt you it's not gonna do anything to you just press that button for me please Anyway, let's get into this. So basically, uh, what I want to start off is, is the combos. The combos are just not easy with this character. When you first played this character, and when we first started playing him when the game came out, we were like, yo, Lucas has no combos now. But I still saw way more potential in Lucas back then. And I was like, I still want to play this character because before it was then up air to kill. And you had to fish for that in Smash 4. Because that was literally like the only kill confirm he had at high percents and it was hard to get it. But in this game I've seen so much that you can do like when I knew that you couldn't tech like uh, meteors on the ground I was like that makes Lucas better like I saw a lot of potential in the character and not other people saw that potential and so they just didn't want to pick him up and then the combos were hard and when we, when we got this game we were like yo I can't do Nair anymore it don't work. But we didn't know that much about the character and now that we know a lot about him, it takes so much work to get the combos now. But other characters like Palutena, you know, she can just do this. And it's easy to pick her up because I, I don't know how to play this character, obviously, y'all can see that. But like, look, I keep fast falling because I'm used to Lucas. But y'all get what I'm saying, like it's easy. I'm still messing up. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I got this, I got this, I got this, I got this. Ah, oh, this. Alright, 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 okay, okay. Oh, I messed up again. One more time, one more time. Like, stuff like that, 38% off of me not really knowing how to play this character. If somebody just now pick up Lucas, they cannot do that like that because that's some, like, it's hard to do Lucas combos. You have to really play this character and know how to play this character to do their combos. So the second part I wanted to talk about is how much effort it takes to play Lucas as opposed to Palutena, Mario, even Bowser. The other day I was like, all right, I want to test out Bowser because I keep getting caught by Tomahawk side B. So I was like, I want to see how like people do this. And when I played Bowser, I was easily able to be up to the level I am with Lucas. And that's what I want to talk about. When you first start off with Lucas, you start basically right here. Other characters, you're going to start up here already. So if you're playing a Palutena, you're starting right here. So if you have two people who are at the same level, if the person picks up Palutena first and the other person picks Lucas, it's going to be way harder for them to beat even though they're at the same level. So if, obviously every time you learn Lucas, you keep getting up. But this person, all they have to do is learn fundamentals and then they just get up higher but you gotta learn very specific stuff with Lucas like DJC auto cancel Nair and all that crap that's taking up your time while the other person is just learning basic fundamentals and moving up higher than you so that's why Lucas doesn't get that much play so obviously now we know a lot of combos that we can do with Lucas like auto cancel Nair into up airs up air up air let me show y'all. Like stuff like that was not possible back then because we didn't know that it auto canceled like that. We didn't know about DJC. And I even when I saw it, I thought it was fake. Why am I messed up? But we didn't know about that stuff. And even now, doing DJC I'm like 95% I'm 
like 100 95% like can do it like other people are not up to that level and that's hard because this is a uh you're in a pressure situation and you have to use DJC 100% good and you don't get your combo off and then you lose other characters couldn't just be like all right I'm gonna just like that's easy that's way easier why pick up something that's gonna be like all right fast fall fast fall at the, the fourth hit all the time like stuff like that and you gotta keep practicing this it's it's too much when she can just do nair 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 up air and it's easier for this character to get the combos off and then you have to struggle with it so what the freak why are you picking up lucas when you could just pick up Palutena and her nair is bigger it covers her more than lucas lucas is just around his body hers is like that big move so she could just come down with that move and have such a big priority over it not only that the third thing i want to talk about is lucas's range it's not as good as Palutena's range because Palutena, this whole range that she has right here right here it's a it's this burst range she can do dash attack right there and hit you lucas dash attack don't work like that where it can just hit you like that she also has this nair that's longer than lucas's and it has uh intangibility on her leg so it's like all these things that she has is like she's like a better lucas basically and that's why i picked her to show y'all because she has all these things that's like it feels like it's better than lucas she has this that's kind of like lucas but it's better it goes up higher it kills relatively early sometimes so it's like why pick lucas when lucas has this move which i'm going to talk about this move one day and it's probably going to be soon but i'm going to talk about this move and how bad it is i do not like this move other people say the move is good but yeah you use this at a tournament use this at a tournament and watch how big of a punish you're going to get this this move is is so not good and then not only that it's only on tangibility on the head i'm not going to talk fully about this move but uh y'all gonna see how i feel about this move when i actually make the video about it but like i said it's harder to use lucas when you have somebody like Palutena who can do those nares and still have you in a combo she has to win less neutral um less neutral exchanges than you have to because you're playing lucas and she could just do nair 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 and up air and, and it won't be she won't just accidentally mess that combo up um last week i was at a tournament i was playing against a fox and my this their combo it has different timings for every character you play against if you're playing against pikachu it's a different timing to fast fall to nair so it's like yo like i first off i have to learn this I gotta learn that and then I gotta learn a specific time is for this I gotta do all this like I have to do all that extra stuff learn how to fast fall the uh the nair on every single character in the game with Bowser it's a different timing with every character it's like a different timing for it and not only that when you do DJC on Ice Climbers, there's a different timing for that too. So it's like, she has the same timing for her Nair. But you're picking somebody like Lucas and you have basically different timing to fast fall to Nair because of their height and their range. Like how big the character is. So I was doing it on Fox. And not only that, if they're a fast faller, it's harder to get the combo off too. So if you were fighting against Fox, I just kept messing it up and I kept doing it right now. I know how to do it on characters what heights 100% of the time with heights like Mario, Palutena, Bowser and stuff like that. But when I play against like a Pikachu or something like that or a fast follower like Fox, I mess up the Nair because I'm not used to doing it on him because I'll be fast falling too early. Wait, hold on. I'm going to show you I don't know why I can't. Like, 
like that. I'll be like that. And I'm not getting the combo off. So it just, it pisses me off that I have to do all this extra work when other characters can just do it so easily, like a combo, and it's, it works on every single character. So with Lucas, you have to really put a lot of effort in, and you got to be like, all right, I have to learn how to do this on this character. I have to learn how to do this on Fox, make sure I'm getting it right. It's not just about weight. It's about their size and their height, too. So it's like I have to learn all this stuff about each and every character. And sometimes another thing, down air combos. On bigger characters, it'll just blow them away like in a tech chase situation. But with smaller characters, it works and it, it makes them pop up. So it's a lot of things you need to know about Lucas that it's just like, yo, this character is too difficult to learn. He's super floaty. His disadvantage is horrible. His range, again, I'm going to show you about his range because I forgot I was talking about that. But Palutena, she has this whole range where you're basically in trouble. She can fight you up close. She could be here. She could be here. And she can even be here and do this. Do this. Like, she has a full range where she can do a lot. In, in this whole range right here S this whole range you're in danger and she's fast too she's faster than Lucas so why are you playing Lucas when you get to play Palutena who has moves like that that can just easily catch you off guard especially online that move is crazy good online because it, it can catch you and you you'll try to block and it won't let you so Lucas is just this hard character to use and his range right here is not good right here it's not good right here his range is good because this is safe range for pk fire this is a real safe range for pk fire his range close to the opponent is really really good because lucas is also kind of like a boxing type character like i said that before in one of my videos so you got all these safe aerials and everything that you could do on opponents to up them up up their shields up you got this, negative two. You got this move, negative two. You got all these safe moves. So when you're close to the opponent, you can start really messing them up. But then when you get to here, the other character is going to mess you up. Because now they're running away and they're dash attacking you and all that. And, and then Lucas don't have priority on his up air. Which I thought that they should have did that. They should have put some uh, intangibility on his head. So that way it's easier to juggle characters. Because... Sometimes I hate trading with this move. He's not good at juggling all like that, but I do it a lot. I juggle. I use PK Thunder sometimes too, and I go like that. But it's like, and I use PK Freeze. But we have to do all that just to juggle an opponent when, when Paula's hand she can just do this. This move. Look how big the move is. Look how much priority it has. This move. You're going to get hit when somebody, when you try to hit somebody with that move. So it's all these things. All these things are reasons why people don't play Lucas. And another thing, the last thing I wanted to talk about is that you have to main Lucas to play him. You have to because you have to learn all these things like DJC, uh, Auto Cancel Nair, everything to basically use this character the right way. So you're struggling learning everything about this character and the person is just picking Palutena. Um, even Pokemon Trainer is easier to use, even though it's three characters. You can easily pick up uh, Charizard and know that Up B out of Shield is good, or Up Smash out of Shield is good. Pick Squirtle, um, down throw to down air to up airs, and then you switch to Ivysaur, and then you do like stuff like that. Somebody else pick up Lucas, they like, wait. Psychedelic, how are you, wait, wait, how are you comboing with Nair all the time? I got a fastball in between the third and fourth hit, and it has to be perfect frames. And then I have to do this consistently. And if I press it too fast, I get, let me show y'all. Wait, hold on. If I press it too fast, I get that. So if you're in a pressure situation, your heart being fast, you know if you about to get the whole entire DJC, and the next day you know, 
And then you do the long version because you did it too slow. And then you're like, oh, I'm about to get punished because the long version is not safe on shield. This, not safe on shield. I mean, it's safe at this range, but sometimes you'll get this range because you'll be close to the opponent doing this. Wait, hold on. Uh, and then you'll do that, and then it'll be over for you. Um, that's about it, guys. Subscribe. Oh, also, wait, hold on. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't, don't leave the video. Don't, do not leave. I want to say that I'm not saying that I would drop Lucas ever or even like be like I'm done with this character or I don't like this character. This character has a lot of potential. This character can do a lot of stuff. His edge guarding is crazy. His edge guarding actually takes no effort. Now that's the thing about Lucas that takes no effort. The edge guard takes literally no effort and you have too, way too many options. I went. Matter of fact, you don't have way too many options, but you have a lot of options. You got PK Freeze, PK Thunder, Nair, Fair, everything. You have all these options for offstage, and you can go far as you want. Now, he's a good character. I would never drop Lucas, but what I'm saying, I'm saying this for a reason. Like, people aren't going to pick up this character because it just takes so much effort just to learn how to play this character. Well, you could just have like no effort, Palutena. I'm not saying that she takes no effort, but you're you're able to spend more less time like learning combos and learning how to like perfect frames for everything with Palutena. But with Lucas, you have to sit there and grind for eight hours doing this. Wait. Grinding for eight hours doing that. And if you keep messing up because you're not, you're not doing it at the right time. But again, this character is difficult takes a lot of effort you have to main him um his disadvantage is horrible it just takes too much effort to play this character anyway guys subscribe to the channel hit the bell and i'll see you guys in another video and i'm going to start twitch soon i just wanted to test this out and see how it would be like if i did do that too so anyway i'll see you guys in another video man uh subscribe <laughs>